This is Rick with United Disability Services. I'm with the Home Mods Department, and today we want to show you a stair lift install. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Today we will be looking at the Handicare 1100 install. I've placed the stand feet on the appropriate steps, taken measurements, and cut the rail. In most cases, I will usually bring both sections of rail in separately and install them on the steps like I'm doing here. Now that I have the rail in, I can attach all the stand feet and check for my first clearances from the step nose and the back wall. One very nice feature about the 1100 is the fact that it doesn't take up a lot of space on your steps. So the next step is to start prepping the charger and charge contact strip that goes in the back of the rail. This is one of the most important parts of the install is making sure that this is perfect so the unit charges. After the charge strip is installed, I will finish installing the rest of the wiring harness at the bottom of the steps for the charger itself. After the charger is installed, it's time to bring the power pack in and install it onto the rail. Now that I have the power pack on the rail, I'm going to wire the batteries and install a jumper so I can then run the unit remotely. I'll then take the unit to the bottom of the steps to prep it for the footrest, wiring harness, and shell. So the next step is to install the footrest onto the power pack itself and wire up the wiring harness that controls all of the safeties and hand controls on the seat when the seat is installed. Now that the wiring is complete, it's time to install the plastic shell that protects the unit itself. This cover protects the motors, motherboard, and batteries. The next step is to install the seat mounting bracket and install the seat. After the seat's been installed, I will then start to wire the footrest and hand controls. Now that the wiring is complete, I will cut and install the plastic covers that protect the wiring harness and the seat mounting bracket. Now that I've function tested everything and the unit is working 100%, it's time to lag the unit down to the steps. Each one of the stand feet gets four lag bolts each. These units are very secure and will not go anywhere. Now it's time for my favorite part. I get to function test and ride the unit to make sure it's working properly and safe for the consumer. I also test to make sure all of the safeties are working. So the footrest safety, the armrest safety, and the safety stops on the power pack itself are all functioning properly. The last thing I do before we turn the unit over to the consumer is wipe everything down with sanitary wipes to make sure everything is clean and safe for the consumer.